Hello students, I'm Miss Gina. For today, we're going to learn about the multiplication word problem. During the lesson, you will learn how to rewrite multiplication number sentence into a simple word problem. Solve simple word problem involving multiplication of whole numbers. What do you know? We know how to count in ascending order. We know how to add numbers together. We know that when we add numbers together, the total amount increases. We know the plan to solve a word problem and the steps to calculate. Let's brainstorm multiplication. What word comes to your mind? Multiply times double factor product continuous addition total. When we multiply two factors we get a multiplication. We can times it also, or if we want to write it twice. But the main thing to recognize is the continuous addition that can give you a total, but for multiplication, the answer is called a product. Let's read this. Four multiply by two. Read it. Four multiply by two. Very good. It is the same as two add two add two add two because multiplication is a continuous addition. Here, number two was added four times and it was written as four times two or four multiply by two. It can also be written in groups, one group, two, three, four. Then we will put two in each group. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Try this one by yourself. Get your book and your pencil. Write down three multiply by three equal. Work this out. Then we will check the answer together. Are you ready? Let's check your answer. Did you write this? Three multiplied by three equal nine? Or did you try this one? Three add three add three equals nine. Or did you try this one? Three groups, one group, two group, three groups, and you place three circles inside. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and when counted together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all your workout must get a total or product of nine. Did you do that? Very good. Now let's try to write a problem. I will give you the problem. There are three chairs in a row. How many chairs are there in three rows? There are three chairs in a row. How many chairs are there in three rows? Let's find the answer. Follow the plan. Understand? Plan, do, and check. 
What do we know? The facts. Three chair in each row, in a row. Each mean one. One multiplied by three equals three. The unknown. How many are there in three rows? The number is increasing by adding three continuously. So three, add three, add three. Or three multiplied by three equals nine. That's three groups of three, which equals to nine. Let's try another one. Get ready your paper and pencil. I will read it to you. There are five jars on a table. In each jar, there are six marbles. How many marbles are there all together? Remember, understand, plan, do and check your answer. The answer is 30. Tell your mom how you did it. Did you get 30? Very good. Let's check other word problems now. You are making great progress. Problem solving, calculate and show your working. Remember, you copy and then do your working also before writing the answer. Are you ready? We are going to proceed with the correction of activity. Number one, Florida is nine years old. Her sister is two times older than her. How old is her sister? Now, you can choose any among the three workouts. Did you put them in groups? Then you drew one group, two groups with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the other also with nine things in it. That will result two groups of nine equals to 18. Or you wrote two multiplied by nine equal 18. Or did you try nine add nine equals 18. That's all very good working. The answer is 18 years old. So her sister is 18 years old. Number two, in each packet of crayon, there are four crayons. Danny buys seven packets for his daughter. How many crayons did he buy all together? Did you try with addition? Four, add 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 four which gave a total of 28. Four was added four, four was added seven times. It can be written as four times seven, which equals to 28. So the answer is 28 crayons. Number three, there are five eggs in a tray. How many eggs will there be in eight trays? Did you try by writing five multiplied by eight equals 40? Or did you try eight add eight add eight add eight add eight equals 40? Eight was added five times. Your answer is 40 eggs altogether. So well done. You made it. Congratulations. This is the end of the session. I hope you liked it. Bye.